So the area that we're going to focus on today, and we're going to, I'm going to show you, you say, oh, Pastor Burzins, you're nuts. You've lost it. You're talking about conspiracy theories. You're talking about shadowy figures. What do you mean Satan's behind everything? Well, turn in your Bibles to Luke chapter number 4. And I'm just going to prove this to you briefly here, that what is really behind these agendas that you see being pushed, that you know there's something being pushed here. And the one that we're going to be covering today is our speech. What we're allowed to say, the, you know, with the new enactment of, of hate speech, or you know, there's this concepts floating of hate speech. Trying to get hate speech made into a law, make it against the law to say things that are hateful. Or um, even just the amount of censorship that you see going on these days. The lack of a, of a flow of a freedom of information from people who are deemed to be uh, not, not promoting the established truth or whatever. Whoever, whoever the, the gatekeepers are that are in charge of allowing opinions or allowing information to flow this is this is becoming more and more evident this is not just some conspiracy theory this is happening and it's very real and the 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 level to which it has escalated it, it is not something that is subtle anymore right. yeah. this has gone beyond even just religious speech now i'm going to be applying this to religious speech specifically because that is the most important speech but this has been applied now to political speech to other just philosophies and ideologies all across the internet especially there's just censorship going on people are being shut down people are being hurt financially based on what they think and say and believe this is happening, and we're going to deal with this subject this morning. But just to prove to you that there, this is a demonic or a satanic force behind these types of agendas, behind the agenda to censor people's speech, look at Luke chapter 4, verse number 5. This is when Jesus Christ was being tempted of the devil. Verse number 5, the, the Bible reads, And the devil, taking him up into a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give it. Now, the Bible very clearly records Satan telling Jesus that he is given, it's been delivered unto him, the power of all the kingdoms of the earth. Now you could say, well, Satan's just lying there. Right? It's something you could say, and the Bible does record Verbatim, what, what people say, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily true. But I think that this is true because Satan's also referred to us in the Bible as the God of this world. So it's, it's no surprise that this has been delivered unto him. And when you see the way the world operates and you see the, the people that are in these high positions of power, it seems very clear after a while that, yes, yeah, Satan does seem to be running things down here. Now, we know ultimately God is the one who has total control in general. I mean, he's the one who has the power and the authority to allow things to happen or not. But God is not the one actively influencing behind all the, the global leaders and behind all the kingdoms of this world. And there's a false belief out there where a lot of Christians say, well, this is just God's will. It's God's will that we have President Trump. And before that, it was God's will we had President Obama. And before that, it was God's will we had President George Bush. And before that, it was God's will we had President... You know, no. Right, right. No, I don't believe that. I think it's Satan's will that we're getting a lot of these presidents. Now, there may be a leader at some point that, that, that God elevates and that God lifts up and that God wants a certain person to be power. I have no, you know, obviously the scripture talks a lot about that as well. But just to say every single leader that exists that's been in, that's, that's been in power always is what God wants to have in power, I don't believe that. I don't think it lines up exactly with his will. God's able to use people for his own agenda, but it's not, um, it's not necessarily his will that these, these evil, wicked people are in charge of, of, the, of, the, of the various kingdoms of the world.